Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Apologies about my makeup, I've been filming all day and I've just had some lunch and a cup of tea so now I've got nothing on my lips and my makeup is definitely on its way off because it's been on for hours. So let's just excuse that. But just thought I'd jump on and start a new little vlog. I went shopping this morning to get basically i needed to pick up an order that i did from next however they only had one of the items that i ordered and then the other one is now out of stock so don't really know what to do about that and i'm also not sure if i like it and i hate when i order stuff and then i don't like it and i've got to return it like that is just a real pet peeve of mine but let me show you where can i balance it on here okay. yeah that'll do so i ordered these light shades is it cute i mean it's literally just a white square lamp shade but i didn't think it was going to be this material i don't know if you can see but it's almost like velvet to be fair i think in the guest room it'll look okay it's just literally to replace the ones from our old lamps i think i showed you in last week's vlog they're really orange looking so i wanted to replace them with this um but I ordered two and now apparently they're not in stock so I don't really know what to do because how long is it going to take? She said she doesn't know when they're going to be back in stock and for the sake of a plain white square lampshade do I just return it? I don't know. I'll try on the light and see how it looks in a minute and then oh look at this little boy are you cuddling mummy's jacket? cosy little soldier Cozy little soldier. So for months now, I have been going into every Jo Malone shop that I pass to try and get the big candle. How many grams actually is the big candle? I don't know, but the biggest candle um, that they have in Pomegranate Noir, because that is my favorite scent from theirs in that style. My actual favorite scent from Jo Malone is Velvet Rose and Oud. This is my fave, but I got this for the living room. However, it's been living in the kitchen because I wanted the Pomegranate Noir one to go in the kitchen. Does that make sense? Hope so. Um, anyway, it hasn't been in stock. Everywhere I've gone, they've had the other scents, but never Pomegranate Noir. So when I was in Phoenix in Newcastle a few weeks ago, actually a few months ago now, the girl that worked there said, let me take your number. If it comes in stock, I can ring you. Um, I haven't heard from it, obviously, but and I just like kind of let that dream go. I was just thinking, you know, I'm not going to get a phone call. I need to just keep checking every time I go into a shop. I'd been into like the one in the Metro, the one in Manchester. Everywhere I was going, I was checking to see if they had it. Um, anyway, yesterday I was pottering around the house, got an unknown number ringing me, which I usually don't answer because I don't really like unknown numbers. And however, recently I've had to because I've had a lot of like contractors ringing me to organise coming around to sort stuff out for us. Um... And oh no, no, I was ringing me, I answered. It was the lovely lady from Phoenix, Jo Malone in Newcastle telling me that they had one come in stock and do I want it to keep it for me? And I said, hell yeah, babe, keep it for me. So she put it to one side and I went and picked it up today and I'm really happy about it. Here she is, the new gorgeous candle, pride of place on the island, my dream come true. This is a really weird thing, but like I've always just, I think I said this in a vlog, I've always had this vision of having a kitchen island and having one of these candles on. It's something that I'd like seen a lot on Pinterest and I'd literally just wanted for years. And now I've got it and it's a bit of a, you know, pat on the back moment because I love this candle so much and it's on my gorgeous island in my house that I'm so happy in. So yeah, and she also gave me some more of these matches and I have these in every room where I've got a John Malone candle because I just think one, they look gorgeous and two, very handy to have and she gave me, they're in there, she gave me like three packs of them, three, four, is there another one in there? Four, what a gorgeous girl she was. So yeah, that is my very exciting purchase. And also, she said that I got a little gift with my purchase. So it's this little toiletry bag, which is so handy. Such a good size. I really love that. And then some minis. So we got the Pomegranate Noir perfume. 
the English Pear and Freesia Body and Hand Wash and the Lion Basil and Mandarin Body Cream. How cute is that? Also, look at this gorgeous little lavender plant. My friend Lucy, who also does my nails, got me this as a little housewarming gift. How kind and thoughtful is that? And I know she watches the vlogs, so thank you, my gorgeous girl. And I love it. I've just put it here in the hallway as you come in. I think I'm going to get like a little side table or something to put it on. But how cute. I've also got this rail, which arrived this morning for my new office filming room. So this is kind of like more of a decorative rail. Decorative. Decorative rail rather than like storage rail. Um, because I'm going to use this in my office for filming videos. I'm going to use this to put all like new in items that I want to film reels with or film um, like shoot content with, etc, etc. So I need to put this up and let me take you up. Stairs still haven't been done. We're just leaving these for now. But this is my office filming room. Which has been panelled, so I'm going to crack on paint in this probably tonight because Jordan is away tonight so I thought let's be productive and let me crack on because I'm going to do this in the same colour as I did downstairs, so timeless. Just keep it nice and white and bright and the vision for in here, I've ordered a really nice desk to go here and a nice chair, so this is going to be like my little work and corner and then we've got the window here and then over here is going to be more of like my filming content side so I'm thinking real big arched mirror maybe a little nice like chair with a little side table I don't know I need to wait and see how it all looks when I've got the desk in and when it comes together and how much room I've got to play with and what the lighting's like but I'm excited to have like a designated room which I can like shut off and kind of have this as my work area. I've really been getting back into the swing of work and it's made me so happy and so excited. Like I've been filming loads of reels and I can do it exactly how I want it because I'm in my own house and I just feel really back in the zone and re-inspired, which I'm so happy about because I was out of the swing of things for, I look so orange. I swear I don't look like that in real life. I hope, anyway. Um, yeah, I was out of the swing of things for such a long time, obviously living at my mum and dad's. And I'm just loving being back into the workflow. It's making me a really happy girl. I've been trying to have like more structure with it. So I filmed like three reels this morning. I'm trying to have like two filming days and then have like editing days, like admin days and kind of get a little bit more structure in my work. Um... Because like I say, it's just been like as and when here, there and everywhere recently. So that's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully having that room and having a desk set up and um, like a designated filming area will work really well. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to give this dressing room a tidy. It gets so messy at the minute because I've not got obviously homes for things. Like things are just literally in boxes on the floor or in these rails. So like it's a bit of a hot mess. Um, so I'm going to tidy this up, tidy up downstairs. And then I think we'll crack on paint and I'm going to do another coat of the wall in the kitchen because it needs another coat. You can still see like some different shades through it. And then I'm going to crack on with the office paint and that. And then this weekend I've actually got some of my friends and cousins staying over because we're all going out. And we're going out in Newcastle and now I can have everyone staying in my house, which makes me so happy being able to host people. Um, so I need to get the rooms set up for them. Shall we try the lampshade? See if we like it. I actually think Jordan's got one of the lamps in his office. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of lamps. I found some from Next, which are absolutely gorgeous. I'll put a picture on screen. Um, I saw them in the Durham Arneson Centre next and they didn't have any in stock. So then I tried to get them online and they're not available online. So then I went to the one in Newcastle today and they said they're coming back online next week. So I'm going to order them for our bedroom. Oh, wow. That is literally pretty much the exact same as... Okay, then. Didn't realise I'd done that, but cool. 
Okay, I'm in Jordan's office, so excuse the mess. But, and obviously we literally haven't painted any of the panelling yet, so that's why it looks like that. This is the old lamp, um, which has this lampshade on, which I don't really like anymore, and it's really yellow compared to the guest bedroom, which I've gone for more like white hotel vibes. So let's try this one. Really hope it looks cute. Please fit. What do we think? Does it look weird? Let me go put it on the bedside table and we'll have a little look. Oh, I like it actually. I think it's cute. I think it matches the vibe in here, which is what I wanted. And then off, it looks just like nice and white and basic, which is what I wanted in here. Good morning, everybody. I am about to head to the dentist and also to pick up some more paint because I ran out of paint. But let me show you the progress. Last night I did all of the um, prepping of the wood in my office and I did all the mask and tape. I was doing that until like 10 o'clock, but I wanted to get up this morning and start painting straight away before I went to the dentist at 12 o'clock. But here is the progress. So I've got one coat on this wall and this back wall and then I obviously ran out of paint so I still need to do this wall and this wall but the wall that has been painted obviously there you can see the colour difference it's literally just an off-white it just feels a little bit warmer and I'm already loving how much better it looks in here so when I come back I've got the easy part of just literally painting this wall and this wall. There's no like intricate detail like around the windowsill or anything. So I should be able to do it really quickly. But I'm gonna go to B&Q, pick up some more paint, go to the dentist, and then I'll be home to crack on. Back from the dentist. Hello, my little soldier. Hello, my little boy. I actually came home to some wallpaper samples which I'm really excited about. We are getting wallpaper in, that's not a great angle, is it? We're getting wallpaper in the living room and in the bedroom, the main bedroom, our bedroom. So I wanted to order some samples. I ordered them from a company called Your Stylish Home. Never heard of them before. I just searched the type of wallpaper I wanted and they came up. Um, I asked a girl on Instagram who I follow what type of wallpaper she had because I loved it and she recommended this brand called Romo. R-O-M-O -O is the brand. Um, and it's like this type of wallpaper that I like. I honestly didn't think I'd be getting wallpaper. Like, I feel like wallpaper went pretty out of date for a while. But I feel like you can get some really lovely ones and it makes it feel a little bit more homely. I don't just want to paint the whole house the same colour. So let me show you. So when I say wallpaper, this is what I mean. I don't mean patterned, funky stuff. This is what I'm going for. So these are the samples that I've got. You can see the sun's coming in. So the colouring might be a little bit off. But I'm going to tape them all to the wall so we can see. I really like this like textured check style. I also really like this. I've seen this before and I really like how this looks. I feel like these two could be my faves. But yeah, I'll put them all on the wall um, and then we can have a little look and see what, they look, what it looks like in different light and stuff. I also picked up another paint, so I'm gonna crack on now to finish upstairs so that it can dry for a few hours before doing a second coat later on tonight. So samples are now on the wall. My favorites are definitely these two. And they look so much different now that they're like up on the wall with like the light in the living room coming in. However, our new couches actually got delivered. So now that I've got the new couches with these, I don't like any of these because I think it needs to be something more muted and matte, whereas these are quite shiny. But let me show you the new couch. So this is our new sofa. It's a very similar texture and material to our old couch it's just a little bit of a darker color because our old one stained so easily and we just wanted something a little bit more durable that we're not going to have to clean all the time so we went for more of like a darker gray color which i love because that's the vibe we're going in here obviously we've got the coffee table here which the colors look lovely together 
and then the media wall is going to be in this style of wood as well so we just wanted this to feel like a really cozy room me and Jordan were talking the other day this is a real nighttime room like when I've got the candles on and the lamp on it's just so cozy in here and then the kitchen is more of like the bright daytime room which is what I wanted I want this room to feel really like just cozy all the time um but yeah definitely gonna look at some more samples I've actually ordered a few so hopefully they'll come this week and I can have a little look at them yeah the couches came with these Kobe's toy box came with these like big soft cushions which are gorgeous and then these ones as well which you can have that way but I actually just like that material and then we've also got one here as well but there's a little boy on his blanket over there because we've been sat editing a video but yeah when you come through the living room we've got one couch there the other couch here and this is how it's currently looking I'm gonna get some artwork for above this one and then maybe a mirror for above this one because this one's opposite the double doors so it's nice to reflect the light and then I've actually just moved this side table which I got from Home Sense before we even moved in I did show it in a vlog a while ago but if you haven't seen it then this is it it's got like a marble top and then gold legs and I also got this lamp from Home Sense as well I've just popped some Jo Malone's on and my plug-in wax melt which lights up which is so cozy on a night so I like that down there but yeah this room is definitely making progress the video wall should be starting in the next few weeks and then once the wallpaper's done this will feel pretty much finished there is also progress in my office filming room so I finished painting in here it's looking gorgeous this is an old chair from the old house you might remember it was in my dressing room and it was also in Jordan's office for a little bit but I've just put it here for now I am going to get a new one and I ordered an arched mirror so we'll see how that looks when that comes in I haven't seen another chair that I like yet so for now that is fine and then this is the rail that I built it's literally just a white wooden rail um but it's going to be perfect for filming for hanging you in bits and then I've just got these white wooden hangers from Amazon. I've also ordered some art for somewhere in this room. I'm either gonna put it here or on this wall here, depending on where I put the arched mirror, but really happy with this room. We've also now got some blinds in my dressing room. I won't show too much out the window, but I just went for like a wooden, I think they're called a Venetian style blinds in here and also the same in Jordan's office because we're doing curtains in some of the bedrooms and in the living room and kitchen and then we're doing Roman fabric blinds in the guest bedrooms so just because this is the front of the house and obviously it's the dressing room I wanted something easy so these have been fitted these are my new Tesco pyjamas so my friend Elle came to stay and she had these pyjamas on and I was like, they are so nice, they look like skims. And she was like, they are from Tesco. So I ran to Tesco to get them and they also do them in black. And I'm going to have to get them because they're the softest, comfiest thing in the world. I actually love them. It's used to stay at me. I'm not ready yet, but I'm about to get ready for the day. Apologies if you can hear the washing machine and the dishwasher because it's all going on today. But I've just had this parcel from Estee Lauder arrive and if you are an OG and you've been here since I started YouTube, which God must have been about four years ago now, potentially, even longer, I don't know, maybe, this was my absolute favourite thing in the world. So it's the Estee Lauder day wear. It's a sheer tint moisturiser, SPF 15. So when you put it on your skin, it's like almost like a blue colour. I'll use it at some point in this vlog so you can see. And then as you rub it into your skin, it like oxidises to your skin tone and it gives you the nicest, like sheer, glowy, tinted base ever. I used to wear this literally every single day. It was just my go-to. I would never wear foundation, just this and bronzer, a bit of concealer. 
is so good and i'm not gonna lie i forgot about it i forgot it existed so i am so excited to have that back in my life and use it again and i guarantee i'm gonna fall back in love with it especially this time of year as it's getting a bit warmer hopefully this is so good for the summer when you're on holiday and you want a little bit of coverage but not a foundation this is an absolute firm favorite of mine i've used this for a long time and it literally makes your skin feel incredible you wake up the next morning with like the glowiest clearest complexion i went through one of the large bottles and i ran out a few weeks ago and i haven't really bought it yet so the fact this has just came has made me very happy so i'm very excited to use that again and then what else have i tried before i've tried the double wear foundation before obviously this is a lot more of a full coverage foundation if i was going on a night out and wanted like full glam wanted full coverage if i was maybe having a bad skin day this is what i would opt for again i've used this before i wonder what shade so this is 3w1 i don't know what shade i used to use but that looks like it would be pretty perfect for me to be honest and then these three products i haven't tried before so this is watery glow primer if this is anything like this and it's a glowy base it's going to be amazing again i'll give it a go and report back it does say dewy and plump primer so that is a bit of me because i don't really like a mattifying primer i like something that's gonna keep my skin really dewy and then this is a skin loving coverage and care moisturizing makeup hydro rescue what is this then it's got spf 45 in is it just like a tinted moisturizer but a little bit fuller coverage i'm assuming so if so that looks gorgeous i'm excited to try that and then this is a concealer which also looks the perfect color for actually concealing which is what i need because all of my concealers are like for underneath my eyes and for brightening whereas i don't have a concealer for actually like hiding blemishes and spots so i'm excited to try this double wear stay in place flawless concealer in the shade 1n light what a gorgeous little package we're still waiting for our light to go up here i'm literally collecting loads of things so that my dad can come and put them all up for us because my dad's an electrician so he's going to come and do everything like that but this picture is now on the wall we've got a picture light for above it which should be coming potentially today potentially tomorrow so that is going to finish off that wall jordan also put up this for me which is the white company frame which i need to order pictures for but for some reason it's taken me ages and i don't know why i am so happy with how this is looking over here though i think it goes so nice with like the doors and the little pops of like green and like the wood effect it just looks so nice i'm so excited for our dining room chairs to come and our bar stools and for this room to pretty much be finished once that light goes up wow the morning sun in my office is actually the most amazing thing in the world but i can't see what i'm doing so i'm gonna have to move good morning guys it is a new day i am in my office excuse the laundry hanging there we're actually getting the blinds fitted in here today i know i showed you the blinds at the front of the house hello sweetheart oh my special boy good morning you're very tired this morning, aren't you? You like looking out the window. Oh, thank you for that lovely morning kiss. Mm -hmm. oh. Do you like to sit behind me? Sit behind me on there then. There you go. I'm actually sat on my new office chair. I don't know if I've shown you that yet. It swings around. My desk should be here at the end of this week, which I'm so excited for. I can't wait to set this room up because on a morning, the light in here, I mean, you can see there, like, it's just stunning. It's so bright and airy. And I know I can come and sit here with my matcha, plan my day. Like, I just feel like it's going to be a really nice, calm and space. And I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, we've got the Roman blinds getting fitted today in here and in the two guest bedrooms, which I'm really excited to see them because I've wanted them um, for a while and the styles that I've picked are all different. So they're all different fabrics for each room. 
and I'm just really excited so I'll show you them today when they get fitted. It's currently 8.45, I've actually been up since 5.30 because Jordan has been smashing the gym at the minute. He's been, where have I put my, oh there it is. Um, he's been smashing the gym, he's been literally going every day at like 5am and doing so well. I've been out of a routine for what feels like forever. Like, I've just really, really fell off the gym bandwagon and I really miss it because I love going to the gym and I love my, like the structure it gives me, especially being self-employed and working from home. Going to the gym gives me structure and it makes me feel so much better. I'm just using the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, by the way. I've run out of my Ren Ready Steady Glow and um, I need to rebuy it, but I do love that as well, but I don't use that every day. I just use that when um, I feel like my skin needs a bit of a refresh. I've had quite a few requests for skincare routine, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing this morning. So yeah, starting with that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I've just been out of routine for what feels like forever. And then obviously when I was living at my mum's, I got back into like a little bit of a routine, but not as much as I'd like to be. And I've finally inquired to start the same gym that Jordan goes to because me and Jordan work well when we can go together and motivate each other. And he is in such a good routine at the minute. He's like smashing it and I'm like, Give me that motivation. Let me tag along and come with you at 5am because I'll feel amazing for it. I know I will. So the gym that I'm joining is actually a female only gym. And um, then Jordan's is a male only, but they're side by side. And it's like group PT sessions. So it's like classes, but not like, how do I explain it? It's like, well, I don't really know because I haven't been yet, but from what Jordan's explaining to me, because he just, it's like the exact same thing. Um, it's like group PT, so you'll be doing like weights, you'll be doing, they have cardio days, days focused on different parts of your body, and yeah, it just sounds really good, and I think it'll really work for me. I'm using the, um, La Skin Face Serum, which is Courtney's brand. I absolutely love this. It leaves my skin looking so glowy in the morning. I also brought these in to show you, which I'm not using today because I've used them yesterday, I've been using these peeling pads, exfoliating, um, from Less Skin as well. I use them probably about three times a week. It feels like it literally gets all the dirt out of your skin, like leaves your skin feeling like brand new, which I love. I um, really recommend the Less Skin products. I love them. So yeah, I've got my onboarding tomorrow for that, which I'm a bit nervous about. You know when you like big something up in your head? It's not even that I'm nervous to go there. I think it's just... I've been waiting to get back into the gym for a long time and waiting to get back into this routine that I've almost like bigged it up in my head which is silly because I know I'll be fine as soon as I get there um but to be fair Jordan's making me feel a lot better about it he's really motivating me so I've got my own boarding tomorrow and then hopefully I'll be able to start like next week and I'm excited to get back into it I really feel like I need it so I'll let you know how that goes and how I get on we'll eat a skin food Best. I love this stuff so much. I'm using my phone as a mirror currently, if you're wondering why I'm looking. Also, I've got to update you on. I um, think you'll be able to see the full finished office in next week's vlog because my desk should be here at the end of this week. I've also ordered a few other bits and bobs for this room, so I'll be able to show you that in next week's vlog. But today, I think I'm going to do the dreaded task of going through the clothes in the garage. Oh God, it's just bags and bags of clothes, summer clothes, winter clothes, stuff we chucked in storage. There's so much stuff and I think I need to go through it and have a big clear out and start bringing some of my spring stuff in because all I literally wear is gym clothes every day and I need some of my other clothes. I feel like I don't know where. All my clothes are because I've just got winter stuff out at the minute so I think I'm going to do that today blinds are getting fitted today what else have we got on today it's a beautiful day by the way blue skies are there so we'll go on a nice long WALK and I'm sure there's something else I've got deliveries coming so whatever comes I'll of course show you I just turned the camera off and then remembered I was meant to be showing you my skincare routine so 
Another thing I've been loving from Le Skin is their tanning drops. Now, you all know my favourite face tanning, not drops, my favourite face tan is the U-Tan spray. However, again, I've run out of that, need to reorder. So I've been using these tanning drops from Le Skin. They are so good. I literally, I mean, I've been doing this every day pretty much and it just builds a really nice natural tan. I literally do just one drop all over my face, rub it all in, make sure to wash your hands afterwards and it just gives your skin a really lovely natural glow, like a really nice face tan. I'm super picky with face tans, that's why I love the U-Tan one so much but this one is definitely up there with that, like I'd say on par just for different um, uses, like I like using this on no makeup days, just put my moisturiser on, put this on, leave it on all day, wash my face before bed, and then the U-Tan I use as more of like a spray. But yeah, I definitely recommend. And then I'm just gonna use my Pericone MD Ultra Lightweight SPF on top. Once this like sets in and I wash my hands, I like to leave it like a couple of minutes before I do my SPF, just cause sometimes I feel like it goes like funny if I don't. Okay, I'm back from a dog walk. Oh my sweet, oh you are just a tired boy today and it was very windy out there wasn't it? You were nearly getting blown away. Tired. Mwah. Lions have been fitted but I'm going to show you them later on. Um, I've just brought a case out the garage, I know I'm supposed to be going through the clothes but I know that this case has got bits and bobs that I actually want in so this has got in the Neom wellbeing pod which I've been keeping for oh sorry darling sorry oh, I'm ever so sorry about that I've been keeping this for the new office because I knew I wanted it on my desk and I'm really excited about it it's the ceramic neon pot. Do you like it? Have a little smell then. Does anyone just kiss the dog all day? Because like I really truly do. Um, so I'm gonna keep that in its box and put that upstairs in the office, ready to put it on my new desk. I'm gonna have a little look on Amazon this afternoon and order some. Um... Well, you've just had a big drink and have a wet chin. And now you've just shook that everywhere. So thank you very much, Mr. Lou. Yeah, I'm going to have a little look on Amazon and order some bits and bobs for the desk because I want it to be really organised. I've got a full makeup bag in here. I think this is all like additional makeup. Oh my God. There's one of them I still order day wears in there. Oh my god. Honestly, when you move house, there's so much stuff that you just forget you've even got. It's literally ridiculous. And then, like, you've got to find homes for all these new things. I'm so glad that I'm not going to have to move house again for a long, long time. I mean, what's going on in here? I've got Primark flip-flops, a GHD hairdryer, some Formio face masks, ah... Uh, I've been looking for this phone case. This is actually just from Amazon. It's just like a silicone one. And I need to replace this because this one is pretty bad. Can you see that? From the move, it's really not looking cute anymore. It's got paint all over it and it's bad. So we're going to put the, put the nude one on. How nice does your phone feel without a case on? Wish I was brave enough to do that, but I would definitely smash it. So... Let's put her back on. To be fair, that phone case, the green one, is so chunky that even that feels nice and thin. These are clean. How cute is this? This lovely brand called The Blend Edit sent me this little bowl which says wifey. Oh my god, so cute. It can like clip onto anything. That's the cutest thing in the world. I'll be saving that for a hen do in the future. Right, I'm actually going to shut this case because I've got out of it what I wanted, which was phone case and neon pod. So 
I think I'm going to just close it and put it back in the garage and hope Jordan doesn't notice it there. Dinner tonight is a very quick and easy one. This is like one of my go-tos for through the week when I just want something convenient but healthy and delish. So we're having salmon, which I'll do with lemon, um, a little bit of honey chilli, baby potatoes with lemon, thyme, olive oil and tender stem broccoli with wild garlic butter. So very quick, very easy, but delicious. And there is my yummy dinner for tonight. Finishing off the day with a cup of tea and a slice of lemon cake as I'm just writing my to-do list for tomorrow. So I will chat with you all in the morning. So I have just got back from my um, onboarding for the new gym it went really well good morning by the way I haven't even spoke to you guys this morning it went really well it was good to see the gym get a feel for it and I think I'm going to start on Monday I've booked in with all classes the same ones as Jordan on the morning 6am bright and early so that I can get myself back in the swing of it I'm really excited um, but I've just popped a home sense because I need a lamp for my office for on the desk and I need a lamp for the guest room because the set of drawers came this morning but I've been editing this vlog and it's already actually quite long so I'm going to end this video here and start videoing again for the next vlog where I'm going to show you the new chest of drawers for the guest room and hopefully the finished office filming room hoping that the desk and wow the desk and the mirror come um within the next few days so i really hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did and as always i will see you in the next one bye